Some of these robots move along at quite a clip. He's even faster than me. Others look confused. And when they crash, the crowd loves it. Even though there are some foreign teams at this event, the World Humanoid Robot Games is really a massive marketing push for China's robotics industry. Stacks and all. While going down for the count is all part of the fun here, the competition is fierce in the industry and not all robot manufacturers will survive. That's despite billions of dollars pouring into robot startups as part of a push to make this country the world's tech leader. And these showdowns are more than just a gimmick. They're used to push the machines to their limits. Whether at this tournament or some other practice scenario, we're gradually learning and upgrading our robots. Some critics of this technology have said, why try to make it look like humans? After all, they could be any shape at all. Well, proponents of the technology say that it's to make it easier for them to fit into a, an environment already built for human beings. And after all, who doesn't like a few robots slugging it out? <laughs> I asked one of China's leading CEOs in the field how long it will take till robots are widespread in society. In manufacturing and the service industries, it will be quicker, but robots for ordinary people is going to take much longer. And winning here not only means medals, it draws attention, which can lead to greater investment, determining financial survival or death. Stephen MacDonald, BBC News, Beijing.